I'm April N, and welcome to Script. This week I'm going to talk about the new fall issue. You should go check it out. It's on www.flirtmag.com. And so this week's vlog is, is a flirt get to know me. So this these questions are particular to the flirt and what I do with flirt. Um, question number one, who are you, where are you from, and what is are your roles with flirt? I am from, I am April N. Um, I am from California, USA. And my role with Flirt is a Flirt vlogger. Basically, I just I talk to you guys about issues and um, help give you advice and help you with things and sometimes play fun games that you guys can enjoy. And that is my role with Flirt. Name one random fact about you. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I basically have told you guys a lot about myself, so there's not really anything really random about me. I mean, except that my dog is currently trying to climb up my leg. Every time I film a video, he tries to climb on me. That's a random fact about me. But it's not really about me, is it? It's about him. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, random fact about me. I currently have a cold, which is why I sound all stuffy and nasty. Yay! What's your current jam out song? Okay. All About That Bass by Megan Trainer. I just really love that song. <laughs> and actually, I made a cover of it. And I did it like like pitch perfect style so I like grabbed a bunch of I, I just recorded several different um, layers and different videos and I placed them all together so they're like layered all together and it sounds like the, it sounds like an acapella group it's really really cool and you guys should check it out and I'll actually put the link in the description so you guys should go check out my video uh, Megan Trainer all about that bass that's my current jam out song what is one style product that you absolutely love shoes I love shoes so much and well like I love shoes but I love ties I like wear ties and, and hats like this look at this one this one's all blinged out look at this boom boom but see it's not that fun to wear it like this it's cooler to wear it like this but you can still see the bling right here in the back I love hats and I love ties I just really love that stuff I actually bought three new ties no, I bought four new ties yesterday, and I'm super excited about them. I I I look through my clothes, and I'm like, wait, I don't have a shirt that matches with these ties, so I have to go get ties. So I'm being all girly about ties. How ironic is that? Share one of your favorite activism topics. That would be the. To be honest, I'm super hardcore about feminism, but I'm also super hardcore about stopping up bullying. I mean, I've been bullied myself, so I I'm really like. I'm, I'm a big activist for for uh, people working together, banding together to stop out bullying. And now that I'm actually a teacher, I'm always keeping an eye out for bullying. And and I want to do something as a teacher. Everybody's always saying, oh, that um, the teachers and the administration they don't do anything about bullying. And I don't want that to be me. I want to be the one who is always trying to do something to stop bullying. So um, yeah, I would say that that um, stopping out bullying is one of my my um, biggest activist things but I'm also into feminism I do believe that women deserve equal rights and 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 I'm, I'm very big about that and you can check out some of my other vlogs to um, see me talk about some of those issues that I just mentioned how are you introduced to flirt it, it's actually ironic that Lucy's in the in the article in, in the featured in the magazine this issue because she is the reason I heard about flirt I follow her on Twitter and she tweeted out that um, Flirt was looking for a new Flirt vlogger and I contacted Amanda and, and the, I got the ball rolling and, and now I'm, I'm the Monday Flirt vlogger and I, 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 I thank Lucy for that. I mean, indirectly. She didn't really like tell me directly, but just by, by tweeting out that, that um, offer, I, it was such a big thing and I'm, I'm so glad that I did it. It was like my best decision ever. What has been your favorite vlog to record so far? Uh, do you know what? The Get to Know Me vlog. Because I really like, I was like, I gotta do the most musical things possible in one day so that everybody can see what I do on a daily basis. So that was my favorite one to record. But I did I, I did have fun doing all the, uh, all the who, who would do certain things. Because I like, I like interacting with the other vloggers. What do you like the most about the new Flirt website? I, you know what? I just always liked it because it's always it's very inviting, and I mean when I look at it, I'm like, whoa! There's so many cool things. It's it's a really inviting, inviting website, and 
when I look at it, I want to go and search through all the all the all the links that they have there. So I just really like the the whole outlook and the whole community that they that the website is promoting. What has been the most challenging part of working for Flint? Well, I recently got into challenges now because I'm a Monday flirt blogger. So I, ha I literally have like three days to make a video. So it's been hard because I do ha I have a full-time job. I am now a high school, junior high teacher. So I work all day long and then at night I have to grade papers or, um, or take credential classes. So it's really hard for me. So I literally have to like, I literally have to schedule in time to do a vlog. So uh, it, it's been challenging, but I'm, I wouldn't quit it for the world. This is something that I'm very happy doing. And whether I get six views or 20 views, I'm happy with that as long as I'm, I'm reaching out to somebody. So that's why I always have, I always schedule time in my schedule for doing these videos. Do you have any articles in the fall 2014 issue? Do you have any articles on the website or in any of the magazines? You know, to be honest, I would love to have an article because I, I do have a degree in English, so I could write an article, but I, I don't have any currently. Um, and I would love to be in one. I would just, I would, again, it would be something that I would schedule in my time to do it. But I would totally take the time to uh, write an article, especially if it's about stomping on bullying or, or feminism. You never know, maybe one day I'll have an article. Pick your favorite article or picture in the fall 2014 and explain why you like it. Lucy, she is, um, she is an inspiration. And to be honest, like, before I got into Fleur and before I got my full-time job, I was just really not in a good place. I was, you know, I had been five years in university really hoping that this would be the year. I had this big um, exam. I had big exams coming up. It was basically like um, an audition. I had to sing 45 minutes of classical music from memory and with pretty much perfect vocal technique. And, um, and, and this is classical music, so it's like opera style and it was the most stressful thing ever and if I didn't pass it then it would probably be me another year in school trying to graduate and it was the most horrifying thing that I could think of so uh, it was a lot of self-doubt and fear and Lucy was always like there she was just I don't know just like her video about anxiety and her own video about just not having self-doubt and being confident in oneself it was something that that I looked at and said wow I I just I, 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 she's younger than me, but she is so right, and and I gotta believe that. And whenever I had insomnia, I, I sent her a, I sent her a question on Tumblr, and she answered it to help me with my insomnia. And so the next night, I tried her technique, and it worked. And it was the first time that I had gotten a good night's sleep in weeks. And I, I mean, I wrote a song for her and Kaylin, and I love. She actually like listened to it and and reblogged it, and. I, I like almost had a heart attack because I was like, wow, she actually listened to the song that I wrote for her uh, or, or, or both Kaylin and her did it. I don't know which one of them did it, but but just the fact that, that it was listened to and it was reblogged, it, it was such an honor to me. So when I first saw the issue and I saw her face on it, I was like, oh my God, th this, is, this is amazing. And um, I'm so happy to see that Lucy is reaching out to more, not just on YouTube, but in the written form. And so I really highly suggest you go read that issue and just just read what she has to say and go check out her YouTube and listen and watch those amazing videos because I mean it's something so simple but it can change your life like it changed mine. Name one reason why someone should go buy the fall issue. I think I just named like twenty. Lucy, great articles, um, great advice because flirt is awesome and because I told you so. Ooh, that's a lot of reasons. So go check it out, www.flirtmag.com. Go buy the issue. And of course, follow us on Twitter. It's at Flirt Magazine. Just, just look it up. Follow me if you want. My links are in the description. And I will see you next week with a new topic. Bye.